right, hello. Welcome back to Ding Dong Ding 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 Welcome back to Dangan Rompa. That was like that was pretty terrible. Um we're going it's going crazy. It's going crazy right now. Um I just want to apologize for my camera lighting last episode. It was uh it was orange. It's very orange. So um yeah, but I hope you're doing well. We're back with uh back with as I said, you know um ding dong devil may cry and uh we're having a good time uh so we just finished the class trial um and we it was our third class trial and we convicted uh celeste uh taiko taiko i knew i'd fucking forget it taiko 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 I'm just going to stop. We convicted um, uh, Yasuhiro, um, otherwise known as Celestia Ludenberg, of um, uh, murdering uh, Hifumi, which she did. And Hifumi also, in turn, murdered Taka because uh, Celeste set him up. So sad time all around. I really miss Taka. Do you li- I did like Hifumi. I did like Celeste. I like everybody, actually. Even Byakuya. I'm like... There's something, there's some kind of, knowing him in real life, I'd be like, what a pretentious snob. And in this game, I'm like, what a pretentious snob. But there is still stuff that I like about them. But uh, so we're getting back in. And then we talked to Kyoko a little bit. And she's like, well, there's a se-, And she told us about this um, secret room in the um, boys, uh, boys washroom. And she was in the boys washroom, which explains where she disappeared to. Um, where is it? That explains where she disappeared to um, uh, when, when everyone was like worried about her being the murderer, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, yeah, so now we just came inside. We were just assaulted by someone. It looked like someone wearing a, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? A luchador mask. Wearing a luchador mask. Ooh. And uh, now we're trying to, uh, we're recovering from that. And it's uh, it's a big, scary time. But uh, here we go. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, I said. Hold it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that knocked the camera off. Pretty happy with how stable it is. Oh. Okay, that's a lot. I'm not really doing that too much. Anyway, it adds to the effect of me going. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let's. Uh, that's how long was that intro? Two minutes and thirty seconds. Holy fucking shit! Let's just shut up and do this. <laughs> okay. All right, everything is actually working. Okay, good. Yeah, it is. Uh, all right, let's just check what happened. Um... Oh, you motherfucker, Virgil's. Vir- okay, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> Virgil, son of Sparta. Not Sparta. Sparta. Good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I like to immediately attack people, you know? Uh, okay, so let's figure out what's happening. Um, what do I know? What don't I know? That's right. A strange sound rang out through my head. Yeah, I was like, I, uh, and then I got uh, smacked in the back of that fat ass head. A strange sound rang in through my head. It felt like I was it was shaking my brain back and forth, and then darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. <laughs> Apparently, something hit me, and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. Uh, okay, well, fan fucking fantastic. I don't know where Luchador Man went, but we're, we're just gonna put that. Oh, all the fucking books are gone. <sighs> and the cum napkins are still here. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone. It's all gone! The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. I'm fucking excited. I'm fucking excited. I know, I'm, we're getting into the juicy stuff. It's, oh, it's only chapter three. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread all, uh, across the rest of my body. F- for now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. Really? You're just going to leave it? Shit, okay. My body was heavy with pain. My mind heavy with thought. It's like some fucking, <laughs> some fucking boy band lyric. My body was heavy. I can't do it. Never mind. Uh, I dragged myself back toward my room. My brain heavy with thought. Time unknown, right? Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. Gah. The farther I walked, the more I felt... Things are getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right here in front of me, right there. And after that, a little poo came out. And a little more. As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. My asshole. (laughs) 
Yeah, that's that's quality, everybody. <laughs> that's quality content. Um, it was faint but undeniable. <laughs> that sound. It's coming from the gym. Oh, so my speculation that it was my asshole is not true. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing here in the gym. Somebody fucking died. You know, we just saved a little while ago. Let's not, let's not worry about it. Let's, let's fly by the seat of our pants, as one might say. All that matters now is the gym. Sure thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this. It didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. We're gonna guess it's someone being murdered. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensify that much more. Gotcha! Buck you! ha ga ga ya Yeah! pa Oh, it's someone. Is that, uh, a Sakura, like, beat the shit out of someone? da 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 Oh, it certainly fucking is. What the fuck? Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure. But regardless, I couldn't stop staring. Look at that shit. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? Sakura Ogami. I ask you a question. What's the meaning of this? Top 10 anime showdowns. How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. Oh, shit. It's big Sakura. Big... <laughs> big Sakura Ogami is the fucking spy lie lie. The deal. I've made a decision. Oh, fuck my ass. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. Good for you. I've made my decision. Those fat fucking arms. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. Okay. Well, All right. You do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? Gonna blow that what ass up. I'm holding hostage? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be? The mastermind spy is... Just then. My dick fucking jizzed. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. Oh, never mind. Okay. Surviving students. Oof. Man, seven of us? He really do be like that. He really do fucking be like that. He is honestly a good, uh, good villain. Go I jump. You received the Super Robo Justice present. I was gonna give that. Uh, I was gonna give the um, jacket, Mondo's jacket, to Taka, but I didn't get a chance because he got yeeted. Um, I mean, I'll just save over this one. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. That was, that was fucked. Then Leon got executed. Oh, we're gonna go through it all. Chi, then Mondo killed Chihiro. Then Mondo got executed. I fucking missed Taka. Hufumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Kifumi. Yeah, I was, I was fucking upset. I was surprised that he just went like that. He just kind of turned into... He was like turned to vegetable mode and then turned to fucking... What's, what's it called? Turn into, well, you know, turn to Mondo. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. Okay. The next morning in the dine. Oh, okay. So I just went back to my room. Super Saiyan Mondo Taka. Super Saiyan. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> I like how I was just saw Sakura fighting fucking Monokuma and I was like, shit, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> time to go to fuck to sleep. Holy fuck. Uh, so now there's only five of us here. Oh yeah, Byakuya. Only a third of the number of people we started with Indeed. in Toko. Loneliness has become commonplace. Mm. Shit. That's true. Makoto. Yeah, he, he truly do be like that. Still. 
What did I see yesterday? Yeah, was that an illusion? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, Makoto, are you okay, you dumb piece of shit? That one-eyed look is more intimidating now. I always thought she was smiling when she made that look, but she's not. <laughs> I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Kyoko's like, you fucking hoe. Okay. In that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean in that case? Yeah. Cause, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? Oh, okay, yeah, because I swear I've seen that before. So this time, But this time she was like, I know what you fucking saw, bitch. If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's okay. eat. I mean, that's my fucking go-to. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat so we can't stand up. Oh, that's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extension level event combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is the problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial's over, new areas should have opened it's up. It's true. true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give in, in to despair just yet. She's mentioning that in in full full volume of the cameras. Maybe Kyoko's the spy. <laughs> She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? Fuck yeah, man. Like, we're gonna get out of here, right? Serious. When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. <clears throat> I mean, reborn as someone serious. Whoa. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm just totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um... Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. There we go. Huh? What makes you so According sure? According to the spirits... I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? 30%. How about that? I could usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. Honestly. It's not like some occult mystery. Yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only going to get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you, my fortune telling isn't some occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't occult. Always correct 30% of the time. It's 100% 100 of the time. He's correct 30% of the time. You got um, it wrong. Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put in the same cat category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle. <laughs> Nani. So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually, is that a cult? No. You're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. I am a cow. Hmm. It all happened one day when I <laughs> went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% on beef. This is, this is literally McDonald's. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But before long, the, end is nigh. the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. <laughs> Gotta take a screenshot. I want to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> and as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. He got a double burger. Looks like double cheese. I mean, not a cheeseburger. What did he get? Yeah, okay. It looks like he got... I can't tell if this is lettuce. Did he... <laughs> I fucking... It's funny. Hero actually was not my favorite character for a long time. Now that, now that like... I think, like, listening to him talk more, I'm, I'm kind of getting into him more. Especially last trial. I thought he, he's just kind of funny. His, he's get He's... I'm... I'm getting more endeared to him now. Um, it's not that I didn't like him. It was just like, I don't know. He just I just didn't really have an opinion. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating and in the air. Then... Yeah, it looks like he's just having lettuce and fucking bread. <laughs> Still floating there. The entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished. While the rest fell back into my hand. Do you <laughs> realize what that means? It means... The burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Yeah. <laughs> something like 70% yeah. pork and 30% beef would be my guess. Okay. You can't trick me. So I stormed back to the burger place and got up at the manager's grill. Nice. That was a fucking 
Mm, that was a good fucking pun intention. And they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with How it. How about that? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. All right, shit. I kind of got lost. Uh. Last. I can't tell if you're... I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. That was very Biaku, you think, to say. I stink of... How dare you? Well, you do stink, though. Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, uh. Anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. I honestly trust them. Me either. I mean, I would never. I, I trust both of them. Sakura I do actually trust, even though she's the spy. Although, I kind of felt that about Mondo, and Mondo was quick to, you know. I was trying to think of a butter pun, but I couldn't think of one. Me Indeed. either. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. Yeah, stepped to the pressure under his own, the weight of his own uh, guilt. Well, but to be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But, but they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Uh, yeah, we're better off without them, I say. Hey, we should kill them. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being. But within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Fragility. Chapter four, all-star apologies. Is that Chihiro? Is that, is that Chihiro I see? What the fuck is my hair doing? I look like a fucking... Jesus Christ. Let's just get that out. Let's, let's get the Mondo. Let's get the Mondo flow going. We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. That's it. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, not read that. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Yeah, he really do. He really did do did deserve that. What did I just read? We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Right. Okay. Let's check out on the map what uh, where the um, areas of event, event, eventful uh, locales are. Looks like now on the fourth. Wait. What? Oh, I guess it won't let you teleport to the fourth, fourth, to the fourth floor. New area. They don't replace the knife. They'll never. They're never gonna replace that knife. Is the meat new? Did they replace the meat? There's fresh meat. There's like this blay case, based on the color and luster. I'd say it's domestic. Okay. How does Makoto know that? Everyone knows the luster. They're meat lusters. Uh, there are knives hung on the wall. One is still missing. The one that Sayaka took to yeet good old Leon. There are all kinds of colorful vegetables piled up. I wonder if there's any paprika around here. Paprika. Paprika. Babushka. Privet. Shmashiba. <laughs> I know this. Sometimes he says something. He's like, wait, what? And I'm like, Makoto, I'm fucking new this. I spent all this time here already, and yet I still can't shake my burning resentment. Uh, I'm just going to check for mono coins. No. No mono coins here. No, no fucking mono coins for Makoto. Uh, is it just gonna let me go wherever the fuck I want? Let's check the bomb. Can I see Alter Ego? Can I check out the toaster oven? Lockers. I better not touch the laptop. Okay. What about these chairs? The massage chair. Um... I I don't want to check the laundry room. There's probably coins in there. How many coins? No, I have 97 coins. I really should. I'm going to do that. I should check that out. I should check that out and I should go see. Uh, I should go. Um, should go collect the coins. Go, go see. I, I'm going to go into the store. Is it the main hall? Did I fuck up? <laughs> How could I? <laughs> I'm a master Dangan Ropa player. Uh, would you like to try your hand against the almighty mono machine? Of course I fucking would. Oh, right. Go down. Some sort of freak. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fucking... We're gonna do it. 
Nice. Pantaloons, uh, so it would seem. Come on, give me that good stuff. What is this? Tips and tricks for gaming. Oh, okay. I got two. Is it a duplicate? It is not. It looks like some sort of... Oh, it's one of those worm on a strings, baby. Worm on a string. It's the best invention that mankind ever had. Just behind nuclear arsenals. Such a good gift. I got that one. It's the hand bra. It's literally just... The, and it's like... it's like a, I don't know if it's a bra literally meant to look like hands. I just don't get it. I was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, and so I haven't given that to anyone yet. But, you know... <laughs> Just give it to fucking, like, fucking, uh, Byakuya or something. See what he says. Oh, yeah, lucky. <laughs> All right, let's fucking do it. Yeah, that, I don't think she would. <laughs> that, that does, that does seem like a thing she would not like. What did I get? Royal curry. Uh, we got rations. I don't know who would want the rations. Sunflower seeds, I don't know. That was Celeste. Give that Celeste. She fucking ate that shit up. A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. Okay. G-sick. Most people have considered a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. It's like a Casio. I have like a Casio like that. It still works. It's still fucking in there. I've had it for like 10 years. Mmm, that's fair. That's very fair. Uh, the latest style from Premier Gothic Lolita <laughs> fashion label. Wonder Dungeon. <laughs> Give that to Toko. Fresh bindings. Taka, Taka like those. Do the, I'm guessing that this would be... Um, this would be Le something that Leon would like because he's, he's a musician. <laughs> That's a me gift. Um, hand bra, yeah. But does I just slip over? I, I just understand the I don't understand the um, the description. A bra does I just slip over your hands? It's slogan: raise your hands, raise your spirits. I don't fucking know. Who's who's to say? Whoever fucking knows. Astral boy doll. I have two of those. Layering shears. Adorable reactions. Tumbleweed. Unending day. Ooh. You can blow the fluff away, and the attached string will pull it back. So you can do it over and over and over. Hmm. Who would like that? Muramasa. Pretty hungry caterpillar. Caterpillar was, was all the rage years ago. As you pull it, it moves up and down, making it look alive. That's funny. Pretty hungry caterpillar. Um, favorite girl, Kyoko. I just, I just really like Kyoko. I really like Kyoko. I think Aoi's actually great. All the characters I do like, like, I think... I, I think it's like Kyoko and Aoi because they're just Kyoko's just kind of like I don't I don't I don't know I'm just so wary about trusting Kyoko. What if the uh, <laughs> literally everyone? It's so funny I mentioned that to everybody and everyone's like yeah Kyoko. <laughs> everyone, everyone's like everyone's like mm -hmm, yeah understandable. <laughs> like no one's like oh my god are you kidding? They're like yeah no for sure. Um, but Aoi yeah I like Aoi too. She's just funny. Um, Antique Daw, The Pretty Hungry Caterpillar. There was the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I wonder if that's what they're basing that off of. It was super, it was very popular. Um, very popular book. I think it was Canadian. Um, yeah. Penis. Pumice. Ancient tour tickets. That might be Leon's thing as well. Uh, yeah, Super Robo Justice. Proof that you should clear chapter three. For me, created this costume at the school, but the quality is so high, it's hard to imagine it was made solely with materials in the school. What? Nani? All right, well, anyway, that's that's the end of that. Yeah. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. I should probably get going. Best boy. <sighs> Biaku yet? No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I think Taka. Taka was just like Taka was my was was my thing. I think it's funny. I think I probably technically related to Chihiro the most out of all the characters. Um, but I didn't think Mondo was gonna be. Uh, I, I I did like Mondo as well. I didn't think he was gonna turn out to be. Um, 
uh, butter, as they say. But um, he was good. Uh, Ataka was probably best boy, in my opinion. In my opinion. What about you? For best boy and best goyle. Uh, I think the stairs are... Yeah, they're over there. Let's go around the hallway. Uh, let's go. Let's check out the art room. I might. I feel like. I feel like Makoto has something to say about that. It's a pool table or a billiards table. What does he call it? The pool table, spotless. I wonder if anyone's even used it yet. <laughs> to be honest, if someone asked me to describe anything unique or interesting to this table, I couldn't. <laughs> When you're writing the, just the flavor text for everything in the game, you get to the last few items. To be honest, this thing is so fucking boring. I don't know why you're doing this. Biakia, he's too cool. Kyo Kyoko's my phone background. Nice, yeah. Yeah, Biakuya. I know, there's something about Biakuya where I'm like, you're such an asshole, but like, I just fucking... There's something so sweet about you. You little fucking piece of shit. Uh, yeah, there it is. The dolly is still here. The bodies, the bloodstains, they're all gone. Just like with Sayaka and Chihiro, Monokuma's responsible, I'm sure. Sucks it up into his big fat ass, just like Kirby. It's the dolly that Hafumi used to move Taka. There are two wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say that they use them for making sculptures or killing. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, that's true. That's actually a good point. He's the one where you're like, I hate you. And then whenever you throw him off guard, you're always like, you're always like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Biaka is cool. Talk I just love because he was just a fucking freak. 110%. He's just a fucking monster. Not a monster, but you know what I mean. I love this like weird little corner I think they got going on here. Hello. Up we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what the next game is all about. I've not, I've like never done anything in this entire, like this is my first time playing through it. I didn't know that like a lot of people, uh, like a lot more people than I thought show a lot of interest in this game. And I had no idea it was as big as, 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 as this. And it's really nice. So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. I also kind of have to fucking pee. I'm not going to go yet. I'm going to save. I'm going to save over this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fucking enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I, uh, I, I believe it when, a lot, when people say that. It's, it's pretty fucking great. All right. Can't go in the girl's washroom. Womp, womp, wow. It's the same as all the other washrooms, except for that one, that other one on the first floor. <laughs> Okay. I've heard, uh, I've heard other people, I feel like it's, uh, I've heard other people say that they like the other ones more, but I, I think, honestly, like, with you saying that you like this one the most, I think that's kind of a, it's a good sign, because there's, like, a lot of, there's debate about it, it seems. Um, let's see. You know what? <laughs> I am gonna fuck piss. <laughs> I gotta, it's, it's coming. She's coming hard. So I'm just gonna pause her here for a quick second. I'm back. Let's do it. Let's get right back into it. No time to waste, fellow gamers. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, there's another fucking floor. Holy shit. Holy fuck. What does Makoto have to say about this? Another gate and more stairs. So it was 10 out of 10, honestly. I fucking needed that. I drank like two liters of coffee. So, um, felt fucking great. Thank you very much. That's close. I've done that a lot. I've done that quite a few times in my day. Thank you for the catch. I appreciate it, Virgil. All right. What did I just say? I clicked on this gate. It said another gate and more stairs, and there's still more waiting for us. All right. Shit. That's, <laughs> that's too bad. Chem room. What do we got? Let's, let's check out the map. Mip, mip. Uh, we got the data center, office, headmaster's room, music room, Kyoko in there, and chem lab. Soccer and Aoi are always together. <laughs> Thank you. I, I fucking appreciate it. I really do. Thank you very much. Uh, class 4A. Let's go talk to what's his nuts over there. Control room, the data center. That's the washrooms. Is this the chem lab? Yeah. The chemistry lab, so that's where they are. 
Who's in here? Is this just a uh, empty fucking room? It certainly is. Let's check it out. Let's do it to it, as they say. Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school score. I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. Okay, good to know. Good to know, Monokuma. Monokuma. Savannah's camera, I just don't think I'll ever get used to it. I mean, who could get used to being watched 24 7? 24 7, you little ding dong. That's what I'm talking about. Monocoins. This is one of the monitors mine. I'm scared of it. Yep. Okay. Let's skip through this stuff. There's a clock right there, but. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Just wanted to turn on my brake or something. Keyboard. Leave the area? No, nothing. I don't know. I, I didn't know. All, all I knew was like, you come to the school and you, you do class trials. I saw like maybe like one one minute trailer and then that was, um, I, I keep looking over there because my camera's over there for a long time, but I've switched it. Um, but that was all I knew. That was all I knew about this game. And uh, it's been, um, I can't say a surprise. I kind of, is, I, I guess, yeah, kind of surprising. I do really like it. Uh, one day I saw Monokuma in class. Oh, it's Makoto. I think that's Makoto. La 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 Gobble gobble. Oh, he fucking ate him. Okay, never mind. What's up, hero? I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locker rooms up here. Um, okay. What else we got? That's the control center. That's the chem lab. That's the office. Let's go check out. Let's go. Let's go see Kyoko. Let's just fucking go talk to Kyoko. I forget who we talked to. I haven't ever talked to Hero. No, I talked to Hero once. That's right. From the end, I'm me too. I'm fucking jazzed. I'm I'm really excited. It's like uh, I feel like this is like yeah. I when when a, when someone doesn't know anything about a game, it's like it's like playing like a Doki Doki Literature Club or something, and someone doesn't know what happens. Or even Undertale. I actually haven't played all of Undertale. I did I did my first playthrough, but I haven't done the second playthrough yet. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Check it out. Oh, a monitor. This is one of the monitors, but <laughs> any coins for me, for my child? Uh, Spanish. I mean, yeah, same shit. If it's the, if it repeats, I'll just let her go. Grand piano. Grand piano. Is this a grand piano? Certainly is. It seems really old, but I bet it's I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. But I can play this. Yeah, yeah, I fucking... <laughs> I just got what you meant. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, you know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Oh, oh my god, yeah, I totally forgot. Well, uh, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And then when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know how important those were. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to do in there. I already saw what I needed to in Hi. there. And I have suspected the mastermind might come after you. Nani? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. <laughs> Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. I wanted to see the mastermind fucking kill you. Seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. What was it? Yeah, as you must not leave is what that piece of paper said. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. <laughs> Man up, Makoto. Um, what does she think a boy is? <laughs> Fine, I understand. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that, that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Yeah, the camera's gonna actually see you. I forgot about that. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... 
Really? Shit, bitch. Okay. I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So, so now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. <clears throat> Did you think I wouldn't notice you turd fucking fart breath? You're hiding something. <laughs> that's... Oh, yeah, that's right. I go... <laughs> forget about all this, apparently. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Uh, well, hey. we're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Can I? Mm -mm -mm. You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Uh, I mean, she told you about the room. Yeah, <laughs> I really fucking do. Yeah, fuck it. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Friends should keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend. So wait, what? I get so... <laughs> okay, I guess don't tell her. Sorry, I, I can't tell you. Not yet. All right, shit. I was... I was... I Fuck it, okay. Correct. So, that's your answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry. I will. I will. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not apologizing for that voice ever. That's fine. It's fine. Get Goodbye. fucked. All right. Fair enough. Honestly, with those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Honestly, probably. Probably for the best, though. She'll understand. Turd breath. Well. Let's save the game. Yeah. He really fucking do. He really fucking do. What is that? All the piping underneath the crown? It looks fucking weird. These metal grates. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Map. Um. Who is. Oh. Oh, that's just, there's no one in there. Headmaster's room? Office. Chem lab. You know what? We did see, we did see big suck, suck a dick Sakura in here. So let's, uh... Oh shit, that'd be nice. Do like little murder mystery games in there. Inside the room. The smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chemistry lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Probably fucking does, honestly. Just suck back that formaldehyde surveillance camera. I just don't think I'll ever get used to it. Get used to that fucking cash of money. What's in here? Is it's remarkably it's a remarkably big shelf and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen, just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Uh, okay, Hina. Just chill out, motherfucker. <gasps> Whoa! There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And nani. They even have protein zyme X. W what's that? Hey! Ah ha! Ha! I go, ah! I call it a protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's, ah, connoisseur level. Oh, oh yeah. <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Sweet Cthulhu. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? A gold mine. This literally is a fucking chem lab. Uh -huh. This is one of the monitors, monitor covers. So being scared won't do it good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that fucking cash, motherfucker. All right. Well, let's talk to King Sakura. Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. What is it, Makoto? <laughs> yeah, literally, everyone's like, fucking protein shakes all the way, baby. Did you need something? N no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay, you dumb slut. Hina! 
Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't when she's with Hina. Huh? You need something? You're fucking staring like a little bitch. N no, it's nothing. Okay. Check yourself then, ho. Uh, you sure? Okay then. Alright, well, I'm glad I checked this out. Well, let me turn right. Leave the area. Fuck yes, I will. Uh, alright. Uh, Yasu's in there. Headmaster's office is the data center. Let's check out the headmaster's office. That's what my nuts are telling me to do. It's right here, actually. It's not quite my nuts. It's the just below the... Actually, the sternum. Wait, no. My sternum's up here. What the fuck is that? Sacrum? Is that, your, is that on your ass? I think it's on your ass. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, he fucking was. Well, I guess he is. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? He's a Kyoker now. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Rattle, rattle. Razzle, dazzle. Uh huh, the door's locked. Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll go fuck myself. All right, does that mean. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's head on into the office. Let's not fuck around. Shakers. Is that fucking... This is the office. But of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Mr. Teacher Man. Look at those fat fucking plates on that door. God damn! This one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Being scared of it won't do any good. I thought it was going to give me a coin. I was about to nut, as one would say. What's that on the ground over there? What's that on the ground over there? What's that on the ground over there? I love finding these photos. The thing is, this scares me because they make me kind of happy because I'm thinking, oh, maybe when people die, it's like, I, I, I have a, th okay. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't really line up with my other theories. I have a couple theories. I have one where we are literally like the last surviving humans in the world. Like we got locked up in this fucking high school or something. Um, not in the world, but like there's a big disaster that we were saved from and we actually don't want to leave. Um, and two, um, I think that as soon as you like die here, you're released or something and it helps you like get, o it actually helps you get over your, get over, like you, by going through all this despair, you actually overcome this personal challenge that you were going through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, yeah, looking for coins, but, um, I don't know. I, it's hard to say because I found the, this other photo, but then what I'm thinking with that is that's just another thing to make it look like, oh, maybe like there is hope. And then Monokuma is going to be like, <laughs> oh, like fucking you stupid hoe. There's no hope here. And that's actually what I'm thinking. So I'm holding out. I'm holding out. I'm not going to let myself get, get uh, happy and excited yet um, till I can touch, uh, can touch those people with my own little fleshy phalanges. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Thank you. Ah, nice. Nice cock. More flowers? There's a flower on the desk. Somehow. Shit, I am a. I truly am. It's me, your resident rich bitch. I guess it'd be Byaku, yeah. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Damn, they're, they're fucking. They're chunking you out with this, aren't they? Uh, there's a flower in the desk, and that makes sense that. <laughs> Shit, bitch! Okay, motherfucker, chill. I will take your charity, thank you very much. Generosity, there's a flower in the desk, and that makes things feel that much fucking weirder. Uh, nice, boner. Um, okay, that's everything. Let's check out the good stuff. What does that say down there? Sungu. Sungu.com. Sure, Sungu, I guess. I don't know if that's how it's spelled. Let's check it out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, on, honestly, yeah, it probably is. But I, I'm always, uh, I'm always one to, um, always want to, to check out those, uh, check out that shit. All right, uh, everything's good. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. It's Sayaka and Celeste and Hifumi. This picture. 
only wonder what Hafumi took a photo of. Nani? Mm-hmm. Celeste, Hafumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Aw, it's just like the picture I saw before. A bunch of cuties. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers. Normal, I mean, Celeste is dressed like she's from the fucking 17th century. 18th century. Just, just guys. Be, there's nothing. What's better than this, huh? Just guys being dudes. Um, it's just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal high school life. I can't possibly believe they're able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here, including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Matakuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> You're fake. Shit. Coming out with the with the fucking hard accusations. Monokuma popped out popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture of my hand. Once again, motherfucker. A forgery plot. What are you? A middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! And you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Mm. Come on, show me the answer. Oh Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't hey, you? Um, but it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, he'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Without another word, Manakakuma has disappeared. So the picture is real. It's really real? If that's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. I didn't think about that. If that's the case... If, if that's the case, I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested to find out what that fucking means. Uh, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. All right, um, I'm gonna save it. Oh, no, I don't wanna, oh, no, stop. I'm gonna save it one more time. I wonder if that's where the next murder is gonna take place, because that's where we found the last photo. Mm -hmm. Checked out everything, everything, everything. Yeah, I've checked out everything. Last thing to look at is the data center. Data or data, depending on where you're from. Rattle, fucking razzle dazzle, bitch. No good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. I've already taken a good look at things around here. It's a lot to think about, but for now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. You fucking got it, bitch. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. The others began to pickle in after a few minutes. Mm. So, is this everyone? Well, Except then. for Tokidoke and be a cuckoo. -cu -cu. uh, Fly away, little bird. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Mm. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> and then no one said anything. All right. Well, let's talk to, yeah, I know, it's making me really sad. I thought you could actually save more people than this, or, I mean, I don't even know if you could save anybody, honestly. It makes me, it does make, it does make me sad. Do make me weep. Uh, yeah, my gut's saying Yasuhiro first. Hmm. Hagakure. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's ah. room. The headmaster's room? That sounds exactly like the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. What? Who cares about a stupid about lock? That? It should be no problem for the world's strongest mystic link to knock down one measly door. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> no, please continue. <laughs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? I mean, shit, bitch, ain't wrong. Um, hell no, I didn't. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. 
unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door. What kind of war on education are you trying to start your here? Had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? Set With betrayal? <laughs> Set mall. Fuck, I can't remember what room is. Set my room. You know, it is now anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. Are you fucking kidding me with the fucking emoji? I'm not mad. You're totally mad. You're totally mad. This is kind of depressing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a room for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. See we have to be. I should give Makoto a, a terrible fucking lisp. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. <sighs> Is he gone? Mm. Oh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. That's fucking true. That's the worst. That's that's the scariest fact about <laughs> this fucking thing. It's funny, when you look this game up, it says it came out in 2020. I don't know why. Uh, but if you would get out of his way to make up a rule like that, go go out of his way, pardon me. There's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that that's his rule, there's nothing we can do. Kyoko says, hmm, maybe with your small little dick energy. Um, let's talk to Aoi. Yeah. There was a big shelf in the cam lab, in the cum lab on the fourth floor. It had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. Mm, this is all-star something. What does that mean? Is Aoi going to die? Sad. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um. there was also um, a bunch of different poisons. <laughs> that little sweat in the middle of her brow. P poison? Mm. They were all labelled, clearly, uh, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around um, there. And we probably shouldn't tell Biaki uh, Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well, well, just in case. Oh, how, uh, do you know why it was taken off? Do you know why it was taken off the shelves? Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, just, just in case, yeah, I, I think you're however. right. Honestly, kinda, yeah. If it's Biaki, yeah. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself, true say. But to put something as dangerous as poison right on the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. I want to talk to Coca Cola last. Metal sheets. <laughs> Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budge an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else, mm. escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. All right, Kyoko, what do you have to say on this situation? Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um... <laughs> you pissed her the fuck off, nutface. Hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset That's to you? Right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Cut to her fucking renaissance face. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault. <laughs> you must have done some true shit. Aoi's got good intuition. Ah, this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. Serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh, oh, I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's... No, I, I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps... Perhaps you mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture, almost just like that huh? one. <laughs> another one? Huh? 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 But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Hifumi's lashes there, man. Good job. 
got nice fucking lashes. Huh? huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. Ugh. So the picture of Mondo. Chihiro and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste Hifumi. Sakaya? Sayaka? Let's, you see that in the bottom left there? What the fuck's up with that? Oh shit, I've never played that. Uh, you missed another part. Do you want to come with uh, Sam? My, Sam is. Yeah, Sakaya, yeah, man. Sam is texting me. Text me midstream, motherfucker. Just kidding, it's fine. Sakaya! Yeah. I don't know if that's just a, a, a typo or what, but that's an interesting point. Now you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sakaya. Yeah? But how can that. Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? what, what? Can't be! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. Now, I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. You coming for me, motherfucker? Because... Huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? You won't tell me the secret? You won't tell me where the pee is stored? Uh, no, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. Uh, what's going on, Kyoko? What are you, why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand. I don't understand why she's so angry. Makoto, I fucking do. Cause you literally, she's calling you out. There's a piece of dust in front of the lens. Got that out of your eye for you. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Come on, Goy. Stop fighting or all your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Makoto. Uh, you're thinking about it too much. There's no... Oh, how long have I been recording for, actually? I didn't even think about that shit. Um, oh, shit. Hour on the dot. Okay, that's fine. We can go a little bit longer we, until we reach a natural conclusion. Um, there's no way Monokuma didn't fake that of picture. Course. He's just trying to confuse us. Kyoko Makoto. Yeah, and they're butting heads. Because they're in love. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Y you might be right, but still. Mm, coming from Sakura, of all people. Are you still so conflicted? What? Oh, shit. Okay, I was like, is that fucking someone coming back from the dead? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Biakuya! <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. They were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. He is pretty fucking funny, honestly. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile. <laughs> a pile of manure. You know? <laughs> I just apologize. <laughs> Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? Oh, he is such a fucking asshole. What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. <laughs> we are always, we are and always will be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me and my beautiful visage. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. <laughs> Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get a... Oh, I just realized I didn't have this thing pulled, plugged in all the way. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a shit, taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? A mixed bath. If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. All right, well, you're not going to find out in this episode, you stupid piece of shit. Just fucking kidding. Um, but we are going to uh, we are going to uh, call it here on YouTube for the day. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Well, <laughs> I was taking a bath. What more do you want to know? Yeah, let's all take a bath. Um, but. 
We're going to cut this on YouTube for now. I am going to continue streaming this. Uh, but um, yeah, so we're getting into it. So we got the fourth floor now, which is interesting. Kyoko's mad at us because uh, I asked her to tell me a secret. And then when she wanted me to tell her a secret, I did not. And so understandably, she's mad. I get, I kind of get why Makoto's holding off because he's like, I don't know. I'm. Would I have done the same? I don't know, but it's like I don't think it's I don't think it's unreasonable to be like you know what I don't know what's going on yet. I don't want to I don't want to spread spread that info out if I don't know what's up. At the same time, though, it's kind of like <laughs> better just get it out because like you don't you could die. Like you don't know. Like that's the thing is like Celeste told us everything that she knew before she died, and so it's like just get that info out. Um, yeah, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for I really I uh, I really appreciate. It. I do. Same shiny underscore doorknob on YouTube. Yeah, and if you ever want to, I I post uh, all my streams and I do highlight videos and I post them on YouTube if, if you're watching this on stream and you ever want to do it there and if you're watching this on YouTube then you already know that I guess so anyway uh, I'll cut this off here we will see you in the next episode uh and uh yeah I hope you're having a good day my man